lovely spring flower here and I'm here today happy Saturday I think that's what day it is you know I mean I was since I've been in this quarantine but I'm totally um kind of lost track of time days everything but yes guys just want to say thank you for all the love that you give to my little Jersey <laughs> she's a sweet girl she really is I really love her um just big shout out to my friend that gave me babies you know <laughs> but um a lot of people were asking me um well, not a whole lot but a few people have asked me what scalp she is and I really wasn't sure so I asked my friend and he told me her sculpt is she is the Kai she's the Kai sculpt by Ping Lao so that's who this little sweet baby is she's Kai here she is by Ping Lao now I know from looking at um looking at other Kai sculpts, I just went and did some investigating and just looked at them and you know see what they look like. I can see that the limbs on mine are different, are different from the original kit. So um yeah, she has different limbs. That's what I can tell anyway. Like all the Kai sculpts that I've looked at, the feet are the same, but the hands are a little bit different. The hands are just a little bit different than what I've seen on the original kit. But even still, she's still absolutely very sweet. And I'm so excited to um, know that it is a baby by, a sculpt by Ping Lao, because for me, I think Ping Lao may be one of my favorite um, sculptors. Uh, she makes such beautiful babies and all the different expressions and stuff. She makes really, really pretty dolls, you know, very pretty dolls. Everybody probably knows, you know, knows Ping Lao, people that's in the doll world. Um, I had the um, privilege to meet her. I met her at the Rose Doll Show last year. She was very nice to talk to and, you know, I got a picture with her and everything, which was really cool and and got to, you know, just see her with her, her dolls up close and personal, which was very, very nice. So it's nice to know that this little sweet girl right in here, again, her name is Kai. And I'll write it down. She's the Kai Kit. I'll write it in there somewhere. She's the Kai Kit by Ping Lao. <laughs> her little pretty face. <laughs> Just wrap it back right here. So today... Today, I have with me Natalia. This is Natalia Bala. That's her name, Natalia Bala. And she is my ballerina, my ballerina doll that I got from, from um, Ashton Drake Galleries. I love her. She's really cute. Um, she's a nice fit into my nursery. I think probably one of the only issues I have with my doll, Natalia Bella, is that I believe her eyes, they're supposed to be a brown color, supposed to be a light brown, but they're, they're more on a reddish tone, and I really am really feeling that, but it's not for, enough for me to say I have to send her back or she's really bad or anything like that, but that would probably be the only complaint. I think her eye color is very, it's very strange. I think it was supposed to be brown, but like I said, it's tending more onto like a reddish color. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the camera, what I'm talking about. Like, see, I was like a reddishy looking kind of color. Like, so I don't, I'm not really too fussed about that, but I mean, it's not a dark red. You know, the same as pinky red, you know, eye color. It's real, it's different. So that's probably be, would be the only thing that... I would say that I don't like about the doll, about this doll, but outside of that, I love her. She's really articulate. I love that she can move. They made her to move. She's made to move so she has um, joints in her elbows. And she has, you know, she can, has a, a wide range, you know, she can do. And so I appreciate that about her. And she has um, joints in her knees and in her legs. So yeah, she's really she's really nice and articulate. She's she's very posable. So I like that about her. And she's a sweet girl. She is a sweet girl, and I like her. This is my little Natalia Bella in my nursery. I have her like a three year old. She's about a three year old, and um, she's super cute. I like her hair. She has a wig as well. Um, it's not rooted here or anything. It's a wig, and it's already parted down the middle like um two ponytails. Her hair was up in buns, and I just took the buns out the other day, and it's got and left with these two big, beautiful, fat, pretty curls. So I really like that. And today I'm going to change her because um, 
She hasn't been changed in a while. She's still got on this cute little mini most dress and the mini most shoes. <laughs> and um, I'm going to change her into, I'm going to put, I'm going to put this cute little dress on her. And she said she wants to be kind of dressed like her sister Dakota. So she's going to have that dress on. She's going to wear these um socks. These like little off-white little socks to have a little bow. And she's also going to wear these sparkly little sneakers that are like rose girl kind of sparkles. And it matches her dress. So cute. cute. So she's also going to have on like, um, you know, a nice Sunday dress. So, you know, girly girl dress with some little sneaker boots. And I just like that look, like I said, on a little top. I think it looks really cute. So I'm um, excited to dress her up like that. And then I just have some hair pieces here that I'm going to change her into. So, okay, little, middle, little Miss Natalia, let's switch you up, girl. Let's change your clothes and let your aunties and uncles see. I have the stool here so that I can stand her up like how I had for um, Dakota. So guys, I hope all of you are doing well. I know it's just been such a different type of time we're living in right now, you know, and um, all of this staying home and <laughs> sheltering in place and things that we're doing nowadays is so different, you know, so different how we're living right now. It's just a different type of lifestyle, but at the same time, it's all about being safe and it's all about being sound, right? So we want to just do the right thing, make right decisions. Ooh, baby, I didn't get no different bottoms for you. Maybe I might leave these yellow ones on. I have to see. Or let me put the camera on pause and see if I can find a different color bottoms for you that will more match your dress. Okay, let me sit you here. Sit here, little girl. <laughs> sit here, baby. For two seconds and let me see what I could do. I'll be right back, guys. So I found these little bloomers that I could put on under her dress. So I'm just going to stick these bloomers on. Right, girl? So as you know, when I change these babies, I have them in all these different little positions I have to put them in just to get the clothes on. Right, little Natalia Bella say, yeah, mommy has to put us in all these positions. Because <laughs> we're big. Put these little white bloomers on. There you go. I'll probably leave her a little white shirt that she has on already. Leave it underneath so that she can have like a sleeve. Because it's still kind of chilly. So I just don't want to leave her with nothing on, you know? All right, baby. Sit down right here. Let's take this hairband off of you. So, yep, I'm just continuing to enjoy everybody's videos. Um, my dolly friend, Serenity Smith, just finished painting a really beautiful little baby. Oh, my goodness. Her name is Lily Gracious. So cute. So, I just want to say congratulations again to, to her. Serenity, your baby is gorgeous. You already know how I feel about that baby. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool when you know how to to um, paint your own babies. That is, that is really awesome. I admire all you guys that are able to do that. And um, I'm hoping to try it. I want to really try that. I really want to try at least once. <laughs> I want to try it at least once. As a person that um, is a doll collector and we do have, um, you know, we do have like if we want to, we can give it a try, like because the doll, doll places such as um, McPherson's and Bundle for Baby, you can get the pinks and sculpts and different things that you need to actually make your own baby. So I would like to try it one day, you know, just to see like how would it come out? Like would I do good or would it look crazy? But well, I just want to try it. So I think I want to get a kit. I actually do have a blank kit here. I actually already do. Um, I think she's the Jasmine. Is she called Jasmine? Anyway, I had gotten her at the Royal Stowe Show. She was the baby of the year for 2019, I guess. And, um, I got her there. 
and um, I I do have that I do have that kit you know so we will see we will see one day I'm gonna try it. I don't ever want to try it on that particular kit because her eyes are closed and I don't do closed eye babies I'm an open eye baby girl you know so I think what I'm gonna do is um either sell that kit or pass that kit on or give it to someone else to paint for me and maybe once it's done I'll sell the baby you know I think I might do that with that Jasmine kit um yeah that might be what I might do with that Jasmine kit because she's a sweet faced very sweet faced looking doll and I think when I purchased it, I really wasn't sure what I was getting at the time. I wasn't quite too sure what I was getting. And so when I saw that it was a kid, I was like, oh, okay. You know, no, no, I didn't have no issues with it, mind you, because it's like, all right, cool. You know, I have a little kid right now. You look so cute. I will show her to you once she's fully dressed, guys. But her outfit is coming together so nicely. Oh, uh, one thing about the toddlers, you know, you can really make them look so adorable right natalia bella say yes we can look so cute <laughs> they look so cute so let me sit you down so you can put your shoes on girl let's sit down and get your shoes on yeah so i think i definitely want to try to um i definitely want to try to actually make a baby make a baby one day I already know I can put one together. I already know that because I I did that, you know, when I redid the body, when I um when I switched the body out for my test array while I was out there at the real store show, I swapped out the body and put different body ones. I know I could switch up, I know I could put a body together. Like I don't have no problems with that, but actually painting and making a baby look like something, uh, that's gonna be the um what am I doing? <laughs> That's going to be like, um, what am I doing? But I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm just going to make it fun. It's not going to be like, oh my God, I have to get it right. It's not going to be nothing like that. It's just going to be a fun project for me to do. And I'm looking forward to doing that. I have to try it at least once. It's something that was on my list of things to do for this year, you know, but we will see how that goes. This year has changed so much, you know, so... And I'm still waiting for a baby to get to me. Like, I'm still waiting for my baby. I don't know when I'm going to get him. So, that's kind of got me a little upset. <laughs> you know, just to know that he's out there and I don't have him yet. And I don't know who he is. And, um, you know, that's got me kind of on edge just a little bit as far as, like, you know. Ugh, when am I going to get him? To know that he's out there somewhere. But like I said before in another video, I hope that, you know, he's being taken care of. And I'm just praying that you know he's not getting tossed about or anything like that and that wherever he is he's safe and it's just waiting to be delivered you know so everything's just so up in the air right now so up in the air which is understandable you know this pandemic is different so everything's all up in the air our lives are just literally up in the air right now <laughs> but i'm not i try not to be too stressed about that and just really try to take this thing as it is one day at a time you know just trying to take it one day at a time for what it is and um yeah not really go past that door you know not really go past that door just get through today so today when i got up you know um i did a little service you know because as you guys may or may not know i am a jehovah's witness so you know we still, still got our service and everything going and we still do stuff and yeah, so that's been really good and very uplifting for me mentally and spiritually, you know, so that's keeping me focused, which I'm very grateful, you know, my creator is very important in my life, so that's keeping me very focused about things and just how to look at stuff and just think about things, stuff like that, so and then I also decided from last night that I said, okay, I'm going to change this little girl in the outfit, you know, and brush her hair up a little bit. And um, I wonder how she look with one ponytail. I've never tried her in one ponytail before. She looks super cute with two. But just like Dakota, I don't really want to do too much to her hair because I don't want it to... Um, I really don't want it to... 
you know, get tangly and everything like that. You know, I don't want I don't want her hair to get too tangly and too mappy. So I try not to do too much. But I'm gonna put this little bubbles on. Some love heart bubbles I have her. And um So this is the first time I'm actually really brushing her hair and I see a lot of um, loose hair coming out, which I don't mind, it's to be expected. Good bit of loose hair coming out, but I don't mind, it's to be expected. This is the first time I'm taking her hair down and actually going through it. So it is loose hair coming out. Good bit of loose hair coming out. But I'm not letting that stress me. I think I'm going to let her big fat little curls just hang. And um... Yeah, she's got like a little hair loss her. <laughs> it's a little hair loss here, but that's all right. Let's turn around to the other side. She's going to look so pretty when I'm finished. She's going to look so pretty. And then Natalia, you're going to look so pretty, girl. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so I just plan my days and try my best to keep myself busy in a very positive way. You know. That's it. That's all we could do. Because it could get, you know, you could go stir crazy staring at the same four walls, you know. So you got to keep yourself busy in a positive way. I know probably if I was a door artist, I'd be doing some painting. If I had like sculpts and kits laying around doing nothing, that would be uh, something I'd definitely kick you into doing. So, yeah, just find something that you love to do and just, you know, try your best to stay as up and as, you know, as focused as possible. So that you don't get too depressed or get too sad or too worried or anything like that. There's a lot going on in the world right now. Even her in Bermuda, you know, our 24-hour lockdown has gotten very strict. Unfortunately, we've had um, four losses here in Bermuda due to COVID virus. And um, that's really sad, you know. Um, yeah, it's just not cool. It's like losing the next door neighbors and everything like that. Because everybody knows everybody hurts. So it's sad. And they're really just trying to make people sit at home, shelter in place, and just be cool until this thing is, has subsided, you know. And I know some people are finding it very hard to sit quiet. I'll tell you that. People's been arrested and everything else. I don't know how it is, but you guys are living by her and Bermuda. People's been getting arrested and everything goes because they just don't want to, don't want to keep quiet. They just want to be outside, which I guess is understandable. But hey, go outside in your backyard. Don't go no further. You know, if you, if it's not your time to be on the road, because what they've done in Bermuda, you have certain times like if you have to go to the shop, you have certain days that you did it in alphabetical order where like the A's to the L's go out certain days, and then the um. M's to disease go out for the other days like that. And then you have the seniors have a certain day they could go out and stuff like that. And of course the essential workers are like, you know, the main people that could only really be out. So yeah, it's real guys. <laughs> this is real out here in these streets. And I just keep my prayers up for the whole while right now, you know, and for people. I really pray. My prayers are really, um, I send a lot of prayers out to everybody, from, but mainly for people that are really terrified. Because I know some people that are really, really afraid, you know, and uh, just so scared. They don't know what's happening. So I really pray for those people that have high anxiety and that are very afraid. And of course, for people that have um, lost loved ones to this. And of course, for essential workers that's got to con come in contact with people all day, you know. These are the kinds of people that I keep in my prayers, you know. And of course, you, my dolly friends, I think about you guys too, you know. So I just hope everybody just stays, stays up. Look at Natalia. She looks so cute, you guys, with her fat curls and her little dress. So she's kind of dressed somewhat like her sister Dakota with her little sneakers and her little um, Sunday dress. She looks so, so, so cute. Oh, I love it. So what I'm going to do is take her over to the changing table, stand her up so you guys can see her. Look at your family, baby. Look at him. Her hair's very articulate as well, guys. It moves nice. Her hair's very articulate. Look. So you see my shoes and socks and my pretty dress? I'll be right back, guys. Hold on a moment. 
So guys, there's little Miss Natalia Bella. Now she looks so, so adorable. She looks so cute with her sneakers and socks and dress. I'm gonna bring the camera up just a little closer. She is up close with her little fat curls. She's really, 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 really cute. That's her little hairband she has on today, a little sparkly hairband. And it kind of goes with her dress. Her dress is a pretty lace and then she has some tulle on it, just like a little ballerina. And there's a little bow on the dress. And um, there she is in the little sparkly sneakers and socks. She looks so, so cute. And I'm really, really loving the way her outfit came out. And uh, Natalia, you look pretty, girl. Yes, you do. You look awesome. You do, girl. <laughs> you look sharp. And Mama's going to take some pictures of you and put you on Instagram. Because you look precious. Yes, yeah, she do, Natalia. You look good, girl. <laughs> the dress fits are perfect. I think it's a 2T, if I'm remembering correctly. It's either, no, I think it might be 18 months. I think it might be 18 months. But I have to look. Anyway, it's a perfect fit, don't you think? It's a perfect fit. And she looks so pretty. You look pretty, girl. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and thank you for coming and joining me as I dressed up my little Natalia Bella. She is a sweet girl. She really is. Thank you for joining me as I um, dressed her up. And guys, have a wonderful, blessed day and enjoy whatever it is you're doing. I love you, Dolly family. And remember, it's your dog's your way. Bye-bye. toes this way. Up on your toes. Up on your toes. Very good.